Okay, listen to this. So today at 2.30, there was an interview in New York City between President Biden and MSNBC person Nicole Wallace. Right? Why? Why? She could have flown to Washington easily and done that interview. By flying into New York City, the president negatively affects tens of millions of people. Tens of millions. Streets blocked off. Traffic backed up to Rhode Island. Okay? Chaos. New York taxpayers foot and bill. Police overtime. All kinds of other things have to be put in place to get the man from Kennedy Airport into Midtown Happen, Manhattan, for this stupid interview that means nothing. All right, Nicole Wallace isn't going to interview Mr. Biden with any kind of content. That's like having your mom interview you. All right, he's not going to ask any tough questions. Oh, uh, some people say you're too old, and Biden can say whatever he wants. Why? You're going to waste everybody's time, waste it in Washington. Now, the whole city, 16 million people in this area where I am, everybody's inconvenienced and the cost is astronomical. So why is Biden doing it? Because he's got a fat cat event where he's going to raise hundreds of thousands of dollars, perhaps millions, for his reelection campaign. And that's why. And again, he can write the whole thing off. We pay for it because he's doing the White House business by talking to MSNBC. Again, that's like being interviewed by your mother. Total waste of time. And if you don't believe me, tune in next week. I'll do a montage cut of the interview, okay? I'll prove it to you. So what this tells me, and I could be wrong, but that doesn't happen too often, Um, is that Biden just doesn't care about anybody but Biden. Maybe he cares about Jill, his wife, maybe. But he doesn't care, generally speaking, about anybody. If I were president of the United States, I swear to you, and this was presented to me, I said, look, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to disrupt all of those people's lives for a selfish act, a con, so I can raise all this money and charge all the expenses to the taxpayer. That's what Biden's doing. I wouldn't do it, okay? I just, I couldn't do it. Biden didn't care. Now, I'm not gonna call him a sociopath. A sociopath is a person with no human feelings at all. And you you know some of them. Right now, they're using a word narcissist, very thin line. Um, A sociopath will kill you and not feel any remorse, sit down for supper. Biden's not a sociopath. He's just an unbelievably selfish human being. That's what he is. Now, you can say most politicians are like that, and I would not disagree. At this point in history, I would not disagree. The most unselfish president I've ever seen, I haven't seen literally, but you know I'm a historian, Abraham Lincoln. Uh, the guy was, what he went through, it was incredible. But most of them are selfish. All right? they, you know, you know what they are. So now it comes down to not only is Joe Biden unbelievably incompetent, and he is. There is nothing in this country that has improved under his watch. And if you can give me one thing, and don't give me unemployment is low. Unemployment was low when he came in. Okay. Don't give me infrastructure spending. Don't give me that. Just one thing in your life that's improved. Your life. Bill at BillOReilly.com. Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name in town so we know you're a real human being. Just give me one that's better after two and a half years for Biden being in the White House. That's all I want. And I'll read it on the air because I don't have any. Everything in my life is worse now all right, society, speaking about society, not personal, um, than it was 
when Biden came into office. Everything. I mean, the, the amount of money that I'm paying for stuff on Long Island is, is just staggering. Way beyond 6% inflation. Way beyond. You go into a restaurant, it's insane. Grocery store, gas station, clothing, whatever it may be, it's double what it was four years ago. And I'll give you the stats in a moment to prove it, not just me. So anyway, it's personal now between Joe Biden and myself. I think he's a bad guy. And I'm a simple man. I got good guys, and guys encompass women, too. It's just like a catch-all here. Good, eh, in the middle, and bad. Now, in my life, I got a lot more good than bad, okay? Biden, bad guy. 